the sneakers are taking on or actually taking over the Olympic, the Winter Olympics. So if you don't know, the Winter Olympics are currently happening in Japan. And there is one Olympic athlete that came out by rocking some super nice dunks. So his name is Matt Hamilton and he is on the USA curling team and he pulled out the what the SB dunks and turned them into curling sneakers. So this is because the shoe was originally for skateboarding. So Matt had to put some Teflon onto the shoes on the onto the sole so you could actually wear them on the ice. But Landon, what are your thoughts? And are you a fan of Matt now? Yeah, so this is actually really cool. First off, I didn't know the Winter Olympics were going on. So that was your first question. I did not know that. So that's actually a really cool thing that you can do now with shoes. I, I don't know that I'd be able to do it personally. If someone says curling such an easy sport. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. I've never curled, so I can't, uh, can't really speak on it. But as far as like shoes, you can take any pair of hype shoes. This was a thing that I didn't know about really growing up, but you learned it like you could take any shoe you want and go somewhere just relating this to baseball and put cleats on it yeah and mm -hmm. just have that as a lot a of people are doing That's, it for no golf. that is crazy yeah. like a lot of people do it for golf you just got to change like what the bottom of the shoe the makeup is but it's a really cool thing so i don't know what type of like i feel like you have to have um some sort of i guess there's no like regulation on shoes you know like not right. everyone has to have the same right. shoe for the same advantage yeah i guess does a certain shoe help you more like does it stop you and affect your balance better uh, so i'm assuming that footwear is like absolutely a yeah zero you, can, factor you can do whatever curling. you want right and curling because I, you don't want something to give you an advantage or a disadvantage you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah there's companies with specific curling shoes i'm assuming nike's not one of them so it's like He's got these like dunks and stuff like that that he can wear on this. I think it's a really. I mean, I mean, I yeah, think his, his complete dunks on. his complete outfit, man. I think head to toe with the long hair. This guy was just meant, and he. I I don't know how he did or the the curling team did, but I think I honestly think they took home the gold. I'm not even Probably, joking, yeah, but you said, uh, I mean, took, that's pretty sick. The best shoes there. Oh yeah, for sure. He's taking the gold in sneakers. I said he was for sure. learning about curling the other day. What is there to learn? What is in his left hand? Is that the broom? Man, this stuff is so crazy to me. Yeah. Some of the Olympic sports that, that we have, compared to some of the ones that like either were left off or didn't make it for a while, it's kind of like mind boggling. Yeah. Just yeah. like how like for some time we didn't have baseball and some other like, you know, key, key sports in the mm -hmm. Olympics. But not the not curling. I know. I know. But it, like It's a whole different world out exactly there. exactly is curling? People go, oh, I got curling practice. More people don't know what curling is than do know what curling is. I know. It's is. always a second thought. It's always, oh, that's right. Curling's on. That's right. But I don't know. That's I why think, it's in the Winter Olympics, and that's why I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool. I think definitely, if anything, it, you know. Apparently, Italy won gold. Oh, Italy won yeah. gold? Dang. Dang. I'm, I'm crushed, man. But. Matt's still one goal Let me in see their shoes. Category. Maybe that could be the problem because now you draw that type of attention to yourself and then you don't win gold. Is it really just like off or not? Who knows? Who, who knows if he was even the one that curled that? You know, it could have been like a different, you know, he did the qualifying curls or something. Uh, who knows? <laughs> We're really but speaking of something. All I know is this no he we blew up all over Twitter. Three. Then it was Norway and Sweden. Dang. Dang. I don't know, but. All I know is he, I thought it was a pretty cool sneaker article, especially he made it all the way to the Olympics. I thought it was really cool what Matt did, but thanks so much for watching this clip of the Laced Up Show. To watch a full episode, click here. To subscribe for more sneaker related content, click here. But until next time, peace.